Here comes the welcome Nuri Bani, sung by Omnic. So welcome, welcome Toby. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here tonight with me. <clears throat> and um, for those of you who don't know Toby, I would just like to give a short introduction. This is Omnic Onyx's daughter, her only real daughter on earth. And uh, we are approximately the same age as some of you who know me might, might know. And um, I know that many people all over the world love Omnic Onik very much through her work, through her books, her teachings. And now I, the thing is now that I would like to help building a little bridge between Toby's and Omnic's current real life situation that most of you are not aware of because we all think or many of us i i guess think that this venusian family must live in abundance and light and constant peace and freedom and and uh, whatever people sometimes think but reality is different and especially for those people close to this special woman from Venus, they also have a lot of challenges to conquer and to things to go through. And we are all hoping to see Omnic one day live again, or at least in present, maybe through the computer, online and webinars or in private sessions, but this is something that needs to be organized and uh, for that they all need a stable life situation. And to help them find this new stability in their lives, we would like to share some current information for you and tell you what the real thing is at this very moment. Um, so Toby, um as far as i know they used to start living together in missouri where omnic has been living now since i guess 2004 it was when she moved in there together with a good old friend who gave her a home and um now the situation is uh, that toby needed surgery that therefore she had to go to Illinois to have the surgery. So her health condition is also not the most stable one. As far as I know, there are always or sometimes there have been some issues which make it difficult for her to to work and everything. Plus her mom really needs so Omnic really needs somebody at her side for her physical daily life because she had a stroke in 2009. So she is uh, partly handicapped. She needs, needs her daughter at her side. And uh, so the whole situation is very unstable at the moment and needs uh, a new fresh air, fresh wind and new stability. And I would like to give Toby now the opportunity to, to, to introduce herself and say something about your relationship to Omnic maybe, and uh, what you would love to share now with the people that we are reaching through this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Anya. I, I appreciate the platform. Um, 
to be honest, I have been encouraging my mother to come out of retirement to some degree and um, get back in contact with uh, many people that love and miss hearing from her and, um, you know, um, having access to her wisdom and her messages, um, hearing her sing. Mary Bonnie just essentially took me back to my childhood. She used to sing that to me when I was little to soothe me and calm me. So it was the perfect introduction. <laughs> it was right. even better than the meditation. <laughs> yeah, she that was, um, I thought everybody had that lullaby. I didn't realize how special it was, you know, but hearing it definitely um, soothed me just like it did when I was, when I was very, very small. Uh, sorry, my brother is trying to jump into the Zoom meeting. He doesn't understand what's going on. He's like, <laughs> well, he, oh. he, will, he will learn it later. We will share it with him. <laughs> yes, exactly. I apologize. And I'm so unfamiliar with Zoom. I, I don't even know how to explain it to him um, and not get distracted. So I am uh, Toby. I am Sheila's Amyak's only daughter. And um we have a, an extremely strong bond because of it. Um, we have taken care of each other for as long as I can remember. Um, I remember feeling protective of her when I was very young, and I, I should have probably felt like she was protecting me, but I've always kind of felt like it was my duty to, to make sure that she's cared for and supported and protected. Um, I think I intuitively understood more than I understood consciously when I was young. So um, I essentially went to Missouri to take my mom to California. Um, and uh, that was my only goal. And when I arrived, I realized that my mother had um, decided that she needed to fulfill her obligation to her commitment to her friend um, of 30 years, her domestic partner who has Alzheimer's. And um, once I realized that the only reason he's still functional is because um, they are where they are and he has such a routine that my mother has created for him um, that it would, it would be cruel and probably fatal to disrupt that. And it's not fair to ask my mother um, to cut her obligation short. So I decided instead to keep my stuff in storage, our stuff in California, and um, just take care of her in Missouri until the situation resolved itself, which we knew it was going to sooner rather than later, as Alzheimer's is um, degenerative, like a lot of the unfortunate um, human disorders that I have. So um, just being patient and trying to be kind and live according to my mom's message. Um, but when I was here last time, about a month ago, I was stricken with extreme pain and realized that I had to have emergency surgery in my left hand. Um, I've already had it in my right to um, retain function. I had lost a lot of feeling and um, the ability to uh, essentially, I had no strength, and they said that it may be permanent. So I arranged for emergency surgery, and unfortunately, until July, when Biden's plan goes into action, I have no coverage in Missouri. Um, so I have to come back to Illinois in order to get surgery, which I did, and um, I stayed in a hotel for two weeks, um, and then I moved in with my kids because uh, the day before I was supposed to leave, my um, best friend of 35 years invited me to dinner. And um, when I came out of the Cheesecake Factory in some random mall where she lives, my vehicle was gone. Long story short, after a great deal of panic um, and three more days of investigation, I realized that it had been repossessed for a lien that my oldest son had um, apparently acquired in the car due to an accident. When he was not clean and sober, he took my vehicle in 2017, 
while I was sleeping. I was recovering from a shoulder surgery. My vehicle did not have insurance because I wasn't able to drive. And he knew that, but I don't think he cared. His brakes were out. So he took mine, um, got into an accident, refused to pay the $3,400 that it cost to fix the other person's car since I was not insured um, and my damage was never fixed and because he was on probation and I love my son and I didn't want him to go to jail I didn't file a police report so long story short um, I have to spend more than it's worth and pay for my son's responsibility if I want to get my vehicle out not to mention the $200 in storage a day. Um, and it's not worth it. It's almost 200,000 miles. Um, I drive all the time because I have to come back and forth do the healthcare and I have um, a few things wrong with me. <laughs> all my joints are torn currently. So one by one, I'm trying to get them fixed so I can still be of service to mom because she is half paralyzed from her stroke. So I came up to fix this. Um, Mercury being in retrograde really took its toll on me this time around. Um, and my mom agreed to abide by the human condition when she came and manifested um, in earthly form on this planet. And I am along for the ride. I apologize for hearing that. Um, that <laughs> We share an office with the upstairs woman. <laughs> Honey, can you just go in? I'm doing a recording, sweetie. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if you even saw her, but she just went behind me. No, we have this uh, oh, special, yeah, effects, this uh, special uh, effect background. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. I'm sorry. Also, I just interrupted myself then. Yeah. Um, so long story short, I got trapped here. Um, yes. And I love my children, but I'm sleeping on a love seat. They don't have room for me. Um, and I need to get back to take care of my mother. She has um, a roommate who has Alzheimer's who has an assistant. She is now on vacation as of the 7th of June. And um, I'm extremely stressed out about them being alone in the middle of nowhere. Um, I was the only driver and Crystal helped, but she was only there two hours a day. She's gone for two to three weeks. I don't even remember which. And I can't get back to Illinois. Um, I mean, Missouri. I have investigated pretty much everything that I can think of. And um, the rentals cost between 500 or 1,000, depending on whether or not I want my son, whether my son is willing to come with me to bring the vehicle back. Because if I drop it in Missouri, they charge you a $500 drop off fee for going state to state, which I just learned. Um, and, you know, kind of splitting my time is coming back to bite me. My biggest concern right now is not just getting back to Missouri, but being able to drive mom to get her extraction so she can get her teeth fixed. Right now, she's only got half of a set of teeth, which is the reason she's never on video. Um, she, I, I'm going to be real and honest with her fans because the only way that we're going to get over this hump currently is to break the probably veneer of um, what people think we live like and the truth of our situation. Yeah. If everybody has read all of our books, they probably understand that my mom agreed to live as the person she manifested in the place of, and she was not a wealthy or powerful individual. She was a poor little girl from the middle of nowhere. And we essentially have had to follow in what would have been her footsteps and live her life. And everyone in her periphery, my mother's periphery, is um, has the ripple effect. And I, I understand that um, it's for a bigger reason, and it's humbling, and it's hard. Um, and uh, I understand why she agreed to do it. So I try my damnedest not to complain about it. Um, right now, I just want to be back there so I can continue yeah. to help her because she cannot function without me. Yes. And long story short, I have been looking for another vehicle because it makes no sense to spend $500 or $1,000 to get me back to Missouri. And then I'm just stuck with my mother and can't take her to the dentist and can't go shopping 
um, and I'll be trapped with them essentially. And I, I won't, I'll be able to help her clean the house, but that's essentially the only thing I'll be able to help her do. Um, and they live in a very rural area with no paved roads and they really need someone that has a reliable vehicle um, to do all of the running around and errands and doctor's visits and dentist visits. She was essentially neglecting herself before I came and she was surviving, but just barely. And I came as soon as my own children were grown. So I, I haven't even been able to have the little road trip in between that I was going to take for myself so that I didn't feel resentful or frustrated in not having, you know, any time between caretaking. But it seems like maybe that's why I'm here. You know, I have a very nurturing nature. And so rather than, you know, if it's meant to be, my time to be selfish will be there eventually and I'll be able to get that road trip in. But in the meantime, I need a vehicle, <laughs> whether it's for a road trip or to get back to helping my mother, yeah. which is my first priority. So I have found one and I know exactly how much it is. And it's definitely a favor. It's worth a lot more. And the gentleman that's fixing it up used to run um, a dealership. He's retired. He's a friend of a friend's and he, it was sitting in his garage and he's fixing it up and selling it to me for about half of its value because he, sorry, there's a cat that's jumping up. Oh, okay, can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> the distractions are endless. And when, um, when can you get it? I mean, if you can afford it's it. It's supposed to be um, today because essentially I have until tomorrow, like I'm really under the gun as far as um, my situation goes, not to get into it or to get emotional or to get into my own um, earthly dramas, but I have an ultimatum. I need to get out of here. Um, and I have my own ultimatum, which is stronger than that, which means my mom is unattended for three days now and they're stocked up on groceries, but they can't take care yeah. of themselves i mean he's in full-blown alzheimer's under which conditions is he going to give you the car Do, does he want to have the money in full complete a hundred percent because i don't really even know him you know what i mean he's a okay. friend of a friend so i can't and i have no way of um guarantee i don't even have my checkbook here like i was not coming Mm -hmm. for anything but to have surgery. I only stayed the extra week because I, I needed to do the post-op visit and my car has so many miles on it. My car is no longer my car that I just wanted to minimize the back and forth. So yeah. I decided to stay for the extra week and, and, <sighs> and now it's turned into like three weeks. And um, so essentially I, I, I'm stuck here. I really need to get back there. Yes. Um, I am no longer welcome where I am. It's not that they don't want me here. It's just that it's crowded. There's a sewage system that can't handle the number yeah. of people. And, um, and I need to get back there so that I can take okay. care of her. Um, so tell, tell the people now, please, Toby, um, how can they help you? I mean, what is it exactly that you need and how can they give you what you need? So I think my situation is more dire and urgent um, than maybe a fundraiser can help. But my plan is, and I hate to do it, I'm not going to get emotional, is to essentially borrow all of my mother's current available funds so that I can leave. Um, I'm going to try to scrape together everything that the two of us have together that's available. And I have less that I have about $500, I mean, to be honest. Um, and I'm hoping that between my mother and I've asked my aunt, and she's very kindly refused, um, my aunt on the other side, not my mother's side. So essentially, I am in a situation where I'm trying to think long term um, and not trap myself. I need $3,000. $500 to do the immediate thing. I think that between my mother and myself and maybe my aunt, I can at least scrape together enough. And then I'm in, I'm attempting to do this video to not just replenish the funds that I'm going to have to take, which are for her teeth. Yeah. Sorry. She needs money for the teeth too, right? Her The reason that she has not been on video is because she has upper set of dentures and her lowers need to be completely extracted they're not oh. in good shape 
and she, you know, she's not vain, but she's self-conscious. And I'm taking all of the money for her replacement teeth to get a vehicle so I can get back there. And of yes. course, she's not complaining about it. Sorry, you need a tissue. Um, Toby, if, if, if we, um, um, I mean, how, how shall we accept donations if people are able and willing to help you, even if you can now borrow the money from your mother because there were donations last year for the move, right? Are you talking right. about that money? Which right? the, and I'm under pressure from Bob's family to get the move done, you know, and I can't do anything yes. without this vehicle. I mean, it's essentially yeah. the only way I can even earn a living, which okay. is okay. So um, what, how, how, what can we offer the people? I mean, do you have an account? Do you have a PayPal? Uh, how shall we I do? What, what shall we do to, to, so that you can receive the help? <laughs> well, I do. I do have a savings account set up that um, was essentially set up for my mother because she cannot have um, money directly into her account um, because she's living off of her Social Security. I mean, that's the truth of the matter. Um, she's human currently, and that's what she's, she's doing. And it's very little. Um, so, and social security will take that away if she gets donations directly into her account. So I've set up a savings account where I'm a trustee. It's essentially, um, a trust fund that is to help us, uh, function day to day because essentially what she said and what I say is what's mine is hers and hers is mine. Um, at and this how point, can we, people send money there? Is it internationally accessible? Um, I'm sure it is. It's a Chase Bank uh, trust and account. You, savings you account. have a card. You can you can withdraw money from that account. I can. Um, I have a card and and she has access to the account, of course. The, it's a trust fund set up for her, and I'm the trustee. I'm essentially the one that, because I do all of I her. I see. And at the moment, there's the this money from the donations for the move from last year. There's still this money on it. So how much is it? Well, that's in a that's in the trust fund, but I'm not going to combine the funds because I don't that's that was started by Rob Potter yeah. and that's separate. And I don't want to infringe upon his promises and his money that he raised for the donations for our move, because otherwise I would just borrow from that fund. But that's not um, uh, that's not something that I'm going to do because that's not why the donors donated it um and we need it when we move i mean to be honest you know I oh, yes some sure but now to get you need the California. money for the car and i need the money for the car because it's a much more urgent and yes. you know top priority i can't do anything without the vehicle i can't even get back to help her you yes. know clean the toilet without the vehicle to yes. be honest so, so and, and this trust account that you have access to this is now empty or is there money on that too no i transferred the funds that rob potter raised to another account because I don't want to model them. So, um, and I'm using the same uh, savings account, but now Chase is open. Like basically you can have multiple accounts under one umbrella for a trust fund. Yes. And I explained that one is for a vehicle and one is for moving and I, okay. I need the funds to be separated. Can you give me uh, this, uh, this information then now so that I can share it with the people? I mean, not, sure. not, not uh, you, you have to write it down. You have to send it yeah, to me. I'll send it chat. to you as opposed to like reading it out loud over the video, but yes, I have access to the information. Well, you can, um, also read it loud if you want. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. I'll, I'll okay, and I write phone. it down. Okay. See. Hold on a second. So the name is Toby Green involved. This is the account. Uh, the uh, let account, me right? pull it up and make sure. I think so. Hold on. I think it's under my name. I have to pull it up to be sure because she doesn't have anything um, electronic. She doesn't even have an email address. She won't even let me set one up for her. She's so. Um, yeah. She doesn't know how to drive. She old fashioned. Very old school. She just school. prefers to keep it the way it is. She's like, as of now, I'm not going to bother trying to change, you know, any of that. Okay, so yes, it is under my name. It is a savings account. It currently does have three cents in it. So you will be putting money on top of the three cents. Three cents? No, really. <laughs> really. Oh. Um, but I basically transferred all the funds here and just left the small amount of interest that the uh, that the funds had acquired in the past few months so um yeah i can give you the information it's a chase account it's a savings account hold on let me see if i can pull up the details 
and I'll give you the routing number, right, and the account number. Is that what people need in order to make deposits? I hope I hope that we can access it uh, internationally. I don't know. I don't know. Can you find this out? Can you? Well, I know Chase bank? is available internationally. I just don't know if there's a difference. But let me give the information that I have, and then I'll follow up um, with you if there's yes. something that needs to be altered for anyone internationally. Um, I do have a PayPal that I could probably connect as well. I just have to get someone to help. PayPal me. would be much easier for most of the people all over the world, although they subtract some fees, but it's much easier because almost everybody uses PayPal, you know? Okay, well, uh, that is currently set up under my business account. So I'll have to switch it out or set well, up a new one for my mother. To make it easier, you write it down and then I yeah. copy it in the in the information when I share the video. Otherwise, it would make no sense now to go through these details. Sure. Because it's better you write it, okay? Okay, well, shall I share the trust fund account that I have just in case they yes. can make deposits? Yes, and if the it PayPal. turns out that it's an issue, then I'll let you know. The PayPal I have to create because the current one is connected to my business account and I don't want donations yeah. being funneled can you into do the business that account soon? can you do of that course today? absolutely yeah i can do it as soon as we're done with the it's simple enough Perfect. to do um and i have all of her information so i can do that no problem um the current trust fund savings account that we're using is chase yes um, the account number is and excuse me while i squint because i don't have my reading glasses on three eight four six one three one nine two nine and the routing number is zero seven one zero 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 one three and i don't think there's any other information you need other than my name which is toby l greenenwald toby is with an i t-o-b-i as an igloo and um, l is for lynn huh lynn yes which i never use and, and yeah. toby is technically on all of my identification yeah so toby green involved i guess is enough and there is right. no iban number i think that we don't need we don't we need an iban number for the international we may and then i would have to find that information because i'm not used to dealing with international and i don't know where to find it off of my app but i'm sure i could find it by just okay. inquiring with my okay. chase banker okay so i'll just have to reach out he's currently of course having a baby he's on maternity leave i was joking i was like well tell him congratulations um congratulations. but yes my banker right uh and yeah to take it easy you know because that's hard work um but i'll reach out to the person that's taking his and i'll find out if there's extra all right that we need i think um that banking. we we uh i think that we transferred the message and uh i think we just uh, leave it like that for the moment and we send our gratitude our yeah love and blessings to everybody who was now listening to toby and to myself and uh yeah so questions and everything for this moment, you have understood the situation, I guess. So thank you very much for listening and for your support and for your help. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Really appreciate it.